KCTV 5 is tracking the latest developments in the race for a COVID vaccine. We want you and your family to have all the facts before making a decision about getting vaccinated. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ellen McNamara. And I'm Brad Stevens anchoring from home. A third vaccine maker says its shot is highly effective at stopping COVID. But according to a recent Gallup poll, more than 40 percent of Americans don't want one. But what if your employer requires it? Can they do that? KCTV5's Betsy Webster talked with an employment law expert. She joins us now live. So, Betsy, can your boss force you to get a COVID shot? Well, Brad, there are some exceptions, but by and large, yes, your boss can require something like this. Here's an example of something similar that's already been done here at the KU Health System. They already require that the staff get flu vaccines, get vaccinated for the flu, I should say. The alternative? seek employment elsewhere. It's become commonplace now to see people in face coverings, even in a typical office. At some companies, it's required. Once COVID-19 vaccines are available, another even more intrusive condition of employment could arise. This is something new for us. Micah Thompson is an associate professor at the UMKC School of Law. Then employers can mandate a vaccination and there's not a lot that employees would be able to do about it. With a few exceptions, employers must make reasonable accommodations under the Americans with Disabilities Act to someone with a pertinent medical condition. The same goes under Title VII of the Civil Rights Act for a, quote, sincerely held religious belief. It's not uncommon to require vaccines in healthcare fields. And though an employer doesn't need a justification for such a policy. If we're talking about just kind of a run of the mill office setting or something like that, then um, the employer's justification would be that this is necessary for the, you know, the safety and protection of, of the workplace. Of course, there's what they can do and what they likely will do. The official EEOC guidance on vaccines is to encourage them not require them. By and large, Thompson says, employers will consider the possibility of lawsuits in framing their policies on the new vaccines because, winnable or not, lawsuits are expensive. That's why she thinks most employers will not require a COVID-19 vaccine. But she wonders about places like meatpacking plants. Some are already facing lawsuits claiming they didn't do enough to stop the outbreaks. Employers are also responsible if it can be proven that uh, employees contracted the virus in the workplace. It's a lot for employers to weigh. So it's a, a brand new world, I think, uh, for employment lawyers. And uh, I asked a spokeswoman for the KU Health System here if they are going to be requiring the COVID-19 vaccine in addition to the influenza vaccine, she said she did not know at this point, but would be making some calls to let me know once she does. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.